Today, let's take a look at how to manage multiple GitHub accounts using SSH keys. First thing first, I'm starting fresh, so currently I don't have any keys on my .ssh folder. To add a SSH key, I'm going to log into my Techcara account, go to settings and select SSH. I can follow the instructions here to generate a key. I'm going to copy the command and paste it on the terminal without the comment since it's only optional. Now the first prompt asks me for the file name for this new key. Rather than using the default, I'm going to explicitly name it as ID Techcara, indicating that this key is for my Techcara account. For the rest of the prompts, I'm just going to use the default options. Once the key is generated, I'll need to add this key to the SSH agent. First, type in SSH add L to list the keys added to the agent. I have none at the moment. Then I can add the Techcara private key file, after which I can verify the key has been added. Okay, great. I can now copy the public key, not the private key, but the public key that ends with .pub extension and paste it into GitHub SSH setting. All right, now the key has been added. Let's verify I can access this account. I'm going to select the first repo here and copy the SSH address, not the HTTPS address. When I do git clone, oh, I already have the folder, so let me first erase this folder. Again, git clone, add the fingerprint, and I can successfully clone the repo. Awesome, that's the first step. Now let's add a key to a different GitHub account. Let me log out and sign in with a different account, say a work account. Let me first try to add the same key to this account. Again, settings, SSH, and new key, paste the previous key. As you can see here, GitHub complains that the key is already in use, meaning that I cannot add the same key to two different accounts. All right, so that essentially means that I will need to create a new key and add that to this account. So I'm going to do the same thing as before. This time, um, I'm gonna name the key as Workara since this is for my Workara account. I should have four keys, a public key, a private key for each account. Don't forget to add the new key into the agent with ssh add command. Again, copy the new public key and paste it into the GitHub SSS settings, and this time GitHub doesn't complain. So let's test a repo from this account. Again, copy the ssh address and clone. Well, here is our problem. I can't access the work account even if I added the SSH key to the GitHub accounts and to the SSH agent. This is because I have multiple keys, but the Git clone only tries the first one, which is the key for Techara account. What I could do is delete the Techara key from the agent with dash D option, after which I'm left with only one key, which is Workara account. So if I try to clone a repo from the Workara account, now I can do it successfully. In fact, every time I want to work with a different account, I need to repeat this, deleting the existing account key and adding the new account key, which is kind of annoying if we have to frequently switch back and forth between accounts. For example, if I go back to the repo from the first Techcara account, create a new branch and push to GitHub, it refused to do it because my SSH agent does not have the key. Again, I can delete the second key, add the first key, and I should be able to do this, but I'm getting an error. This is because the second key hasn't been deleted yet. So let me delete it and try it again. Yes. So now I can push the change to the first account again. So the solution to this hassle is to save this into the SSH config. Here is a good gist I found on this topic, which I'm going to share the link down below. If you scroll down here, you can find a section on SSH config file. What I'm gonna do is to copy the bottom two configs, which is for GitLab, but should work the same for GitHub, and paste it into my .ssh folder. The host here is the alias that I'll refer to, so it can be anything, but I'm just gonna write it as techcara.github.com. The host name here is the actual address for the alias, so that's gonna be GitHub in my case. And I can change the identity file to point to my Techcara private key. Oh, and let me also change the comment as well. I can now copy the first into the second and simply replace Techcara into Workara in host and identity key sections and save and exit. With that, I'm going to add back the Workara key to the agent, so I now should have both keys. Now, if I make a change in push, I can do it on the first account. It seems as if we are done, but we are not actually done. 
To demonstrate this, if I go back to the repo from the second account, make a change and push, it won't do it even if I have both keys added to the agent. That's because I haven't changed the repo address to reflect the host I specified in the SSH config. To fix that, simply open up the config file in the .git directory and change github.com to the host, which in this case will be workara.github.com. Now I can push the change. All right, similarly, I can do the same thing with the first account, techara account. So let me go back to the first account and again, edit github config to read techara.github.com. And again, I can make the change and I can successfully push. So once I set up the SSH config and GitHub config, I can now go back and forth between the accounts seamlessly. All right, that's all for today's video and hope you found it useful.